Hey everyone, Adam with Droid Media here, and today we are going to be making this awesome DIY wooden shoulder rig with a built-in battery adapter to power your camera, your monitor, your viewfinder, your external recorder, whatever. And we're going to do all of this for under 175 bucks. There's a lot of things you're going to need for this project, so I'm going to include a list of all the materials in the description below. Uh, the main things, though, are going to be two two foot by two foot by half inch thick pieces of plywood. I chose red oak because I like the way it looks. Uh, you'll need a battery adapter. I chose an NPF one because I have a lot of those already. A pack of these cables, this small rig shoulder pad, this small rig 15 millimeter rod clamp, and another 15 millimeter rod clamp with rosette adapters. Uh, and also a set of 15 millimeter rods. So it's easier to follow along. I'm gonna break this tutorial down into two parts. The first part, we're gonna work on the shoulder rig. And then after that, we're gonna work on our hand grips. The shoulder rig part of this requires a lot of fairly precise measurements, uh, which I'll include in a document below. Your best bet though, is to cut a template out of cardboard or cardstock, and then use that to trace outlines onto the wood. I actually got some half inch cardboard from a friend a few weeks before starting this project. So not only was I able to make a template for cutting, but I made an entire prototype out of cardboard, which is pretty cool. Since the top and the backside have the longest straight edges, use the already straight outside edges of the wood to your advantage and draw the rig like this. You'll be able to fit four per piece of wood. So even if you mess up, you should have plenty of wood left over. Once you've got six of these measured, you'll wanna use a jigsaw or a bandsaw to cut out all the shapes. Then after these are all cut out, pick a couple to be the outside panels. Go ahead and set those aside for right now. With these remaining four, use a square to measure out the back area where the battery is gonna go, and then cut that out. Then measure and cut out a small two inch by three inch section where the wiring will be housed. To cut this section, drill a half inch hole in each corner, and then with your jigsaw, cut the rest of it out. Now you should have all six pieces of your shoulder rig cut out. Now we wanna glue four of these middle pieces and one of the side pieces together. Using wood glue, spread it over the whole surface and don't be afraid if a little glue seeps out, that just means you're doing it right. Now stack those pieces together and use clamps to keep everything straight. I actually started using some spring clamps after the first couple pieces were put together. You know, it's a good idea to wipe the excess or seeping glue with a damp cloth once you've got everything clamped down. Then once everything's dry, we need to wire in this battery pack. Remove the battery faceplate from your charger, and then you can get rid of the wall adapter. We just want this piece. So go ahead and cut a one half inch hole where this adapter's connections are. Then taking one of your cables, cut it in half. And we wanna strip down and solder this into the back of the adapter. Then feed the cables through the hole and use some super glue to attach the adapter to the back of your shoulder rig. Now we need to drill some holes on this front side that we can put our cables through so we'll be able to connect all of our equipment. Drill two half inch holes, then using a little hot glue, secure the power adapters in. After that, just use a wire nut to attach the cables to the battery adapter. Before we glue the last side on, we wanna check and make sure everything works. You can see here, I'm getting power to my monitor and now my camera's powered. Then we need to attach our final outside panel to this rig. Uh, glue this piece and clamp it down just like we did with the other panels earlier. Now we wanna work on this top handle. Currently it's too wide to hold comfortably, so you wanna cut out some sections to make it easier. Using a coping saw, go ahead and cut out those segments. Now that it's easier to hold, we wanna make it more comfortable. To do this, mark where your fingers are gonna go and use a Dremel to make some grooves or notches. Be sure to check it regularly to see where you can make adjustments at. Once that's done, we're ready to sand everything down. I started with 60 grit sandpaper to really buff out any uneven areas. Then I moved up to 100, 150, and 220 grit sandpaper. So I was left with a really nice, smooth finish. After you've sanded everything down, go ahead and apply your stain. The stain I decided to go with was one that you simply apply and then wipe off after a couple of minutes. Once you're happy with that, go ahead and apply a coat of polyurethane. Once that's dry, we wanna go ahead and attach our shoulder pad and our 15 millimeter rod clamps. Take your bare 15 millimeter rod clamps and put a little super glue on the top and the back sides, which is where it'll be touching the wood. 
Once that's in place, use a couple of small half inch screws and screw the clamp onto the rig for some added durability. For the shoulder pad, we want to take this small rig shoulder pad and cut off the fluffier side of these Velcro pieces. Then, just use some hot glue and attach the remaining pieces to the pad. Take your Velcro, cut out some segments, and then remove the plastic backing. Then go ahead and press the adhesive side firmly onto the shoulder area of your rig. Now let's go ahead and make these hand grips. So I filmed primarily with the Sony a7S II and I've got this awesome Tilta cage uh, which came with a wooden hand grip itself uh, and has a start stop function and everything. So I'm only going to be making a left hand side grip in this tutorial. However, there's enough wood left over that you can make a right handle as well. You just need to take the design that we're working on now, flip it, and you'll have both handles. So go ahead and take your remaining wood and cut it into three inch by five inch segments. Take five of those and glue them together with wood glue. Once your block of wood is dry, take it and roughly outline a hand grip on it. If you've got a bandsaw or something like that, you could probably do this pretty quickly. Now, most of us don't have one, so a coping saw works just fine. Now start cutting away pieces until it begins to resemble a hand grip. You'll want to keep testing it and seeing where the hot spots are or where your palm or your fingers are rubbing against it a little too much. We want this rig to be really ergonomic. Keep sketching out where you need to cut off and cutting those down. Then once you've got a pretty good rough shape going on, use a Dremel to notch out these finger grips and smooth all of these curves out. After that, we wanna work on the rosette mount so we can attach it to this rod clamp. We want a small hole for the ratchet nut to go through and then a larger hole that we can fit our fingers into to tighten or loosen everything. Use a quarter inch drill bit and then drill from the outside in. Then we wanna use a one and a half inch auger bit or hole saw and cut out a big hole for our ratchet nut to fit into. Now be sure you check to see how deep you're going. We don't wanna go all the way through. After that, we wanna use a chisel to notch a little square hole on the backside. Check on this periodically to make sure your hole is the right size. Once that's done, use a Dremel with some sandpaper and smooth everything out. Just like we did with our shoulder rig, start with a smaller grip paper like a 60 and then work your way up to a higher number to give yourself a really nice smooth finish that's going to be comfortable for your hand. Then, like with our shoulder rig, we'll want to apply some stain and then some polyurethane. Once that's dry, we want to attach this rosette. Use some super glue and cover the back side of the rosette. Then press it into this hand grip. I found the best way to get this really nice and tight was to actually use the ratchet nut and attach the rig to the 15 millimeter rod clamp. Now you just need to tighten it down initially and then you can go ahead and remove it. Because everything's gonna be clamped down most of the time, this should be good. I wanted a little added durability so I drilled some pilot holes and then connected everything with these tiny little screws I got from the hardware store. Once this is all done, go ahead and attach it to your rod clamp. Now that everything is completed, we wanna put this rig together. Attach your 15 millimeter rods to your shoulder rig, slide on your camera, and put on the hand grips. And that's it. If you guys have any comments, questions, or want to share pics of your cool DIY shoulder rigs, do so in the comment section below. If you liked what you saw, click like. If you want to stay up to date on projects like this, click subscribe. Thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this tutorial. I hope you learned something. I hope you go out there and build a rig for yourself, and I will see you in the next video. And that is it. You should have a brand new, very sexy shoulder rig sitting on your shoulder right now. It's dumb.